2010 annual meeting marks the 50th anniversary of the GHA Clues Memorial Award, the AACR's first scientific award. In 1958, executives from Eli Lilly asked the AACR to collaborate in honoring Dr. Clues, one of the 11 founding members of the AACR. Several months after the submission of Lilly's proposal to our board of directors, sadly, Dr. Clues passed away. The notion of AACR giving a named award to an individual was widely debated, with differing opinions as to whether or not it was appropriate to recognize competition among cancer researchers. On the other hand, others felt that this award and lecture would be an interesting addition to our annual meeting. And so, after nearly three years of discussion, the board voted to proceed with an annual GHA Clues Memorial Lectureship. Dr. Clues was an extraordinary scientist and a pioneer in the fields of cancer immunity in animals and insulin production. The archives describe him as a visionary in his time, and we would agree unequivocally. We are very grateful to Eli Lilly for his generous support of this award over the past 50 years. This type of special recognition of one's peers has encouraged and inspired cancer researchers all over the world to reach new heights in the conduct of their work. All of the Clues awardees have been outstanding researchers and a number of awards have been remarkably prophetic in their scientific impact. In fact, five Nobel laureates were honored with the Clues Award prior to their receiving the Nobel Prize. Today, the AACR gives a number of awards that recognize the wide spectrum of fields of cancer research, but it all began with the GHA Clues Memorial Award. The lecture was an excellent opportunity to bring a large group with diverse backgrounds in cancer research up to date on the molecular biology of an essential component of the processes involved in carcinogenesis known as promotion. Roswell K. Boutwell, 1979. I have dedicated my research to the understanding of the biology of metastasis and the recognition of my scientific accomplishments in this field by my peers has been a supreme honor. Isaiah J. Fiddler, 1988. The Clues Award serves as a benchmark of the progress we have made in effective treatment of chronic myelogenous leukemia. Clinical trials with Gleevec imatinib were in their very early stages. Now over 80% of patients live eight years or more. It is a true success story of bench to bedside. Janet D. Rowley, 1989. The Clues Award was my first scientific prize. It recognized the discovery of the RGD peptide motif and integrins that use this motif as their primary binding site. Erki Ruslati, 1990. It was a complete surprise that I would receive the senior award of an association in which I was honored just to be a member. The degree of confidence that such an honor bestows is substantial and I am reminded of the importance it has had in sustaining my work and career every year when the new awardee is named. Stuart H. Yaspa, 1993. Awards like the Clues are great testaments to the work done by scientific teams, and in particular by the students and postdocs who are largely responsible for the advances these awards recognize. Bert Vogelstein, 1995. Conducting research has, as its main reward, the pleasure of playing mind games with nature day after day, and once in a while having an idea that no one has ever thought of before. Robert A. Weinberg, 1996. Don't be afraid to take risks, because I think, like Jim Watson taught me that, right? It is, it, you, you, you could have two projects in the lab. One project could be the kind of safe thing, right? <laughs> that you do, right? But, but the other one ought to be asking the question that you're almost afraid to ask. You know, what is the cause of this? The Clues Award meant a lot to me because it was among the earliest recognition of our work. I have fond memories of being honored that day. 
Mina J. Bissell, 1999. I was very honored to receive this recognition from the AACR for my research on the basic science and possible applications of telomere biology to cancer. Elizabeth H. Blackburn, 2000. This is really where I think the very serious cancer research profession and field and uh, the whole tradition, you know, really, really was nurtured in, in this society. The Clues Memorial Award came at a critical junction in my career. It gave me a tremendous boost in confidence that helped propel my career forward and encouraged me to continue striving to take novel approaches to cancer research. Stephen J. Elledge, 2001. The Clues Award meant a great deal to me, as it was in recognition of my efforts to develop therapies based on loss of tumor suppressors and activation of RAS. Frank McCormick, 2002. It was quite a thrill for all of us to receive this recognition, particularly in light of the previous iconic awardees whose work has contributed so deeply to our understanding of cancer. Ronald A. DePino, 2003. This is my first award I received for discovering the involvement of microRNA genes in the pathogenesis of human cancer. Carlo M. Croce, 2006. To be included in the distinguished tradition of the Clues Award is a major stimulus to persist in the firing line against cancer. Johan Mausage, 2009. In our research on telomeres, we aim to translate our knowledge about this basic aspect of chromosome biology to relevant issues in cancer. Tisha DeLang, 2010. It is truly an honor to receive recognition for one's contributions to the body of knowledge about cancer biology. It is particularly humbling to have that recognition come from the premier cancer research organization in the world, the AACR. Michael B. Caston, 2007.